Okay, welcome back everybody to now cranberry juice and art in the afternoon. <laughs> so yeah, my throat was getting a little scratchy from doing another couple hours on a um, an art journal page. So I went, I switched over from coffee to cranberry juice. And uh, we're going to do a page in my napkin journal. So, the napkin journal is just an old day book, uh, faux ledger date book um, that is from 2009. I don't know if you can get these anymore, but it doesn't have to be this. It can be anything. Any kind of um, mixed media journal. It, it can be anything. It would be a composition book. Anything that you do your mixed media collage and painting in will work. I just have just set this aside to use as what I call my napkin journal. And by that, I just mean that the bases, the base coats, or the backgrounds are de those decorative napkins that you peel apart. You can just take a you know, pretty napkin, you peel it apart and matte medium down. Let's see. Let me find another one that's got, like here. So you can see where there's two napkins there. And so it's just the background. And then what I've been doing is using different... I have a couple books on uh, fairies and elves. Here's uh, Juliet Crane's Big Monsters and her Whimsical Animals. And I'll color these. And actually, I don't really get into a lot of detail with these. I just kind of do a wash on them. And for most of the pages that I, of color book elements that I've cut out of color books that I put in here, there's not a whole lot of detail. I don't spend a whole lot of de time um, coloring them in, in depth. But you can. You can take as long as you want. But what I've done is I'll, like here's one with color book pages. Here's one with the Juliet Crane girl. And then the birds out of a different book. And what I'll do is I'll just essentially put a wash of paint on them. And just do a little bit of color with color pencil. And then I blend them into the background with paint. Kind of like I do my mixed media collage. Except I'm just using napkins as a background. So this is one napkin. This is a different napkin. And then I've used uh, elements from different books. You can mix it up. These are two different books. And, um, and turn it into like a little scene. So here's where we've used a, a mermaid. Again, this is all napkin. And then, and we've also used stickles on this one to make her glittery. But, um, yeah, there's just the napkin. Here's another, this is another Juliet Crane girl, an animal. And you use the napkins as the basis for your colors. So, like, this one's got a lot of purple, lilac, so that I would base my uh, picture either uh, matching it or contrasting it. Some more napkins. So I'm just going to do a quick flip here just so you can see. I go and I and I also go, I don't go in order. I'll just flip to whatever page inspires me at the time. You know? So you can see I've got lots of napkins ready to go. And then this one, we, there's a bit, a recent, this is the most recent one I think we did a couple weeks ago for Halloween. Again, two different napkins as a background she's out of the fair one of the fairy books and then we stickled her up and glittered her wings and glittered the little eyes in some of the pumpkins there use some paint to make it look like she's in fog here's another uh, Juliet Crane girl and again oh, sorry guys it's gonna want to flash out and then the butterflies from a different color book these are napkins, napkins in the background. So yeah, so you can just kind of see the bees are from a napkin, the poppies are from a different napkin, and then the the um, flower that she's uh, sleeping in is a color book page. Okay, I'm really liking this is because it's purple and yellow is just a little bit different. I might go with that. So, let's see, do I have any more finished in here? Uh, here's the little boy, the little elf that's sitting on the, this is all napkins. And, sorry, it wants to keep flashing out, guys, but there we go. Uh, do I have any more? Let's see. One more here. 
color book page, color book page, napkin, color book page, a different color book. A little. So anyway, guys, that's uh, all napkins, napkins. I really like this yellow, too. And I like this one, too. Hmm, yellow or orange? yellow or orange I kind of like the yellow and green I think we'll go with this one today sometimes I'll <laughs> I'll look at the, go by the napkin sometimes I'll look and find an animal and then match it you know or whatever but I did want there's a little owl in here I liked this one or hmm. kind of like that one let's see do you want that one or this one I think I'm going to go with this little owl. And so I just use this book. I tear them out. Don't email me. I tear them out, color them, or do a, a paint wash on them, dry it, cut them out, and then I'll incorporate them into the scene. But I think I want him and a girl. So. <laughs> yeah, it is cheery, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll do this. We'll do some, uh, you know, uh, browns and oranges and yellows, and there's a little bit of green in there. So we can do him, like he can be over here. And I may or may not use some of the backgrounds. You know, if you don't want to use like the little trees in your um, page, then save it. Save it. Now, I'm not going to cut it completely out. Save, um, save those little trees for another uh, art journal page or something else. You don't have to use everything on the same page. Uh, I do recommend coloring it and and before you completely fussy cut out it's just easier to color and paint on if you have a little bit of you know real estate to play with if you fussy cut him out right away you're gonna you know it's a little tougher to do a quicker element I found anyway so oh I like her she could be up here and he could be looking at up at her I like her. I'm just, you know, just struck me just right. All right, so we're going to go with these two things. Again, I'm going to paint them to kind of go with this, and then I'll fussy cut them out, glue them in, and um, paint around them. Now, a couple things about that. I, all my napkins are glued in with my golden matte medium. Okay? Now, depending on what you use, depending on what you use to color these. Sometimes I've used watercolor. I've used um, Neo Color 2 water-soluble crayons. If you use anything water-soluble, you can't... You can't... Uh, well, we had to change the plans, Kim or B. Um, you can't um, varnish... I mean, uh, matte medium over because it'll just smear, right? Uh, if this was like, if I did watercolor or neo colors, that's water soluble, and then I try to matte medium it down, then you're going to smear that. It'll it, it'll move. It'll move. But if I just use um, if I just use uh, acrylic washes or colored pencil, you know, you could you know gently do that. Most times I found I just um, their top elements that I'm going to add on. I usually just uh, really cover them well with um, my Eileen's Tacky and glue them down for a couple reasons. One, this is bumpy. This is rough texture. So the other thing I wanted to uh, say is if you're going to use color pencil, like which I probably will, you want to do the bulk of that. Not that you can't do it after you glued it down, but if you try to, let's see if I can get a pencil here. If I try to color pencil him after I've glued him down on this rough texture, let me see if I can show you here. This is what's going to happen. See how it picked up all the texture of the napkin? Which, that's fine if you want texture. But if you don't want texture and you try to color your element after you've glued it on a napkin, you're going to get texture. So it's best to do all your coloring separately and then cut it out and incorporate it into your piece. Okay? All right. So, and my table here is kind of uh, crunchy and, you know, got bits of stuff on it. So I want to make sure and color it on something like this calendar that's smooth so I'm not picking up that texture. 
okay all right so let me just kind of set this aside these are the colors we're going to go with go with like a yellow a um let's go with um persimmon and i want to go with maybe an olive green or two okay this is avocado so we're going to go with these colors at least as a, the main colors all right so um, let me get a, this is what I used before on the other project. I don't want to get them all mixed in. So let me get another palette here. Get a dry one here. So if you have any questions, put them in caps. And we're going to do a little um, napkin journal because a couple of girls asked me to. So they're, they're, they haven't done it before. and They want to see it done and they want to try it. So we're going to go with it today. And I was waiting also wanting to see if Janet... Uh, it wanted to stream today too because Joycey is not. All right, so let's see if we can get this done in about an hour, shall we? <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of water to these. I just want a little bit of a wash. And uh, let's see, get a medium sized brush. There we go. I just like a, I love angle brushes. Those are my favorite because they're so versatile. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start and I think I'm going to do um, a yellow. Now let's see. I think I'll have her have green. I think I want to have her have, and the, there's just water and paint. So I'm just kind of getting a wash. And a wash is just for me watered down acrylic paint. Let's see if I can get my light. Hang on, guys. Let's see if we can get the light fixed again. Um, I think I'll go ahead and zoom in one, too. Just so we're a little closer. Zoom in one and refocus. Hang on. Okay. Jean's going to stream. Oh, okay. Yay. Okay. I missed that announcement. Okay. Yay. All right. So I'm going to just water it down here. And you want to water it down enough so that you can still see through it. Okay. Uh, I'm not caring if I get out of lines because I'm going to cut this out. So I'm going to do all the feathers. Kind of a green. And if you want it darker, then dry it and then add another layer. Okay, you don't want to oversaturate any kind of water, any kind of uh, color book page, because it'll just pill and you'll pulp up. So, yeah, I think I might keep some of that little bit of sparkle around her head there. All right, and feathers down here. Maybe a little featherage, something blowing out behind her. So you can see it's very loose. Oh, I do want to do a little bit of her face, too. I think we're going to do her a little darker. Let's get a, um, that's maroon. I don't want maroon. I want kind of a, where's my, here we go, russet. And I'm almost out of russet. I tried to find a new russet, and I, I couldn't find it at a, a Hobby Lobby. Let's see if there's anything left in there. A little bit, I think. Don't need much. Just need a dot because I'm just going to water that down and just do her skin a russet color. So I'm just going to put a wash. And again, you can go in with color pencil and, uh, and shade. Okay, so I just want a quick coat of color. All right, and then I'm going to do her shirt a yellow something like that and then maybe I'll just use a little bit of the persimmon maybe her little earrings or her little necklace the little bead things might be to have a little bit of orange in them same thing maybe along her collar I'm, it's very loose guys very loose I'm not trying to you know it's very watercolory and loose say so, 
Let me put a, more, a little bit more orange down in here. All right, so that's all I'm going to do until I dry it. So there's just the wash. And if I, like, I want her skin darker. Well, before I add more water to this, I'm going to dry it. And then put another layer of paint on there. So I'll show you that in just a second. Let's go ahead and go over here to the little owl. Okay, so he is going to be orange and yellow. So I'm going to do the top of his head like orange. His little bodice here. i got to get a little bit more water. And again, they're going to be cut out. So I'm not trying to... Then a little bit of yellow. Very loose. Very watercolory. Maybe a little around his... Let's do his little arms there. A little bit of yellow. That's it for now. Okay, now let me dry these. Alright, it's kind of flashing out again, guys. Let's see here. See if we can get the color back. Okay. Sorry guys, it's wanting to flash out with the white paper. Let me see if I can even move my light a little bit here. Let's see. Oh. It's getting uh, lighter in here, so it's affecting my light. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to go back with the dark the, the uh, russet color, and I'm just going to add another layer to her face. Very watercolory, very loose. See? Put a little down her nose right there. Maybe just a little around her eyes. Something like that. <clears throat> now once I get, let's see, it's just really wanting to flash out. Now I know it's because I'm zoomed in. Let's see. Hang on guys, let's try it again here. Hmm. All right, let's move down. Let's move this. <laughs> let's get back down to something I can focus on. All right. I don't know. We'll, we'll work with it. Okay, so now let's go back over here. Add a little bit more. Add a little bit more orange. Give it a little bit more shading. I'm not overdoing it because I can add a little bit with pencil, but I'm keeping it very loose. You know what I mean, Burn? Okay. A little bit more on the earrings, her necklace. I'm just kind of darkening it up a little bit. You can't you can't keep layering it up when it's wet. You gotta dry in between. dark. There we go. A little more water. Okay. Something like that. If you have any questions, put them in caps. Okay. Now let's dry it again. Then we're going to cut them out. Okay. 
All right, so now I'm going to kind of fussy cut them out. I'm going to kind of keep those little eyelashes there, I think. I don't know why I'm using these ginormous scissors. I should be using my cutter bees. They're my favorite for cutting, fussy cutting. Thanks everybody for joining me today and playing with some art journaling and some napkin journals. All right, so there's that little guy. It's an ASMR cutting video. kind of loose and keep it that watercolory look. I want to keep all those little dots around their head. Oh, I think I'll end them right there by her ear. Cut out her little earring. Around her necklace. Her shoulder. I don't know if I want that there. I'm thinking no. I'm going to cut that off. There we go. Uh-oh. I'm going to drug my thing here. Let's wipe that up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just a vid it, they're videos that just, you know, go by sound, relaxing. A lot of people ha like... Uh, sounds you know it's relax I, I enjoy occasionally not very often but you know they're just like like say they're doing an art supply one then they'll have like they'll go and it's just kind of relaxing to have sounds I don't know <laughs> okay so back to this now I want to decide where I want her I know I want her kind of up here kind of across the yellow and you just got to kind of play with where you want them to be I kind of like that yellow right on her head right there the other thing too is look see how she she could does she won't fit right there well don't be afraid to trim them down <laughs> same thing for right here I'm going to trim this down a little too so that she's right on the edge because I want that flower to show like that See? and I don't want her crossing over the ditch and I'll darken that up and shade it now a couple different things remember I like that butterfly so I think I want him right here with the little butterflies right there in the flower right there <clears throat> now if I'm gonna add paint on top of it you know you can paint over this and not have to worry about this being rough but if you want to do color pencil, you don't want to color on this with color pencil unless you don't care. If you don't care if you pick up the texture. Playing with the... <laughs> All right, so what I think I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and add some color pencil and um, knock over my juice here. Now that I know where I want them, so I'll just kind of move over here and just pull them off to the side and just do a little bit of shading okay 
And you can, again, you can spend as much time or as little time as you want on these kind of details. And hopefully y'all can see I'm not really zoomed in. The zoom kept flashing me out. We can try again here. Let's try one more time. Whoa. How's that? That looks okay. All right, we'll go with that. So. So we're just going to kind of, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I'm just going to color a little bit. It's not real detailed. I want to kind of keep that watercolor feel to it. And you can put some little feathery things in there if you want. You can add, you know, you're the boss of your color book. Or any of it, really. <laughs> you know, if you want a little feather action <laughs> going on. <laughs> Thanks guys, it's fun. I love doing I love working in a napkin journal. It's very relaxing. And you know, again, you know, I hurry a little bit on these shows, but you don't have to. You take your time. Enjoy the process. Trust me, when I'm not on camera, I do not go this fast. Because I don't need to. I want to enjoy the journey. Right? All right, a little yellow ochre maybe on his face. And then my yellow, that's the green. Get a little bit brighter yellow because of, you know, of the uh, flowers. And then maybe a little olive on the, um, a little olive on the uh, wings here. Maybe a little yellow on his little thing sticking up off his head. So you can see why it's best to color before you cut out, because then you're fighting those little bitty <laughs> edges. Okay. So that's pretty good. Something like that. Alright, now let's bring her over here. Same thing. Let's do uh, a little jewelry. Her collar. A little yellow ochre. A little bright yellow. And all the shading was already there. That was already, you know, on, as part of the uh, shading. <laughs> yeah, he is cute, isn't he? All right. Say so it's 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 easier if you uh, color before you cut out. All right. So there we go. Now let's do feathers.
I'm just going to put a few extra dark lines in the feathers. There. Do her face. Okay, let's see. Let's get a. Um, no, I don't want blackberry. I want the umber, light umber. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a little bit of shading. Just kind of follow the shading that's there. Along her hairline. Okay, let's get a dark peach. Here we go. Kind of do a little blend. Not, not taking a lot of time, guys. I'm just kind of quickly. I'll go in there with um, darker on her eyes in a minute. dark eyes and her eyebrows. Accent her nose a little there. Let's do the same with him. And there are no highlights to speak of in their uh, eyes, but that doesn't mean we can't add them. Make them look however you want. More realistic or more cartoon or okay, that's pretty much I think all I'm gonna eh, maybe I'll add a little bit of now let's do that with black. Let's go ahead and uh, make some of these just to give it a nice contrast. And then maybe a couple of extra feather lines, just bring out, make them a little darker. And you can always still continue to add things even after you've glued it down, but you just have to be aware that if you try to do pencil on top of your napkin, it's going to be a little rough. Okay. All right, I think that's all for the uh, coloring for now, anyway. But you know what? I do have a picture of a moon over here. Just saw this. I just saw this sitting over there. We're going to use one of these moons with the scissors. Don't know if I need a whole one or, I don't know. Let's just go with that. It'll just sitting over there on the side. So I think we're going to use one. <sighs> All right, let's go back to seeing where we want everything. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out again, guys can't see the whole thing. Mm. 
she's going to be right there. She's going to be right there. I'm going to put the moon up here. Actually, it could be it could be right there in the middle. Again, I hate going over the middle of a the middle of a thing, <laughs> you know. But we're gonna go for it. So, all right. Now I'm and what I'm gonna do now instead of gluing down with matte medium, I'm just gonna show you how I glue with um, golden matte medium. I mean, uh, uh, a tacky glue for a couple things. One, these pages are not going to be varnished. I just know I'm not varnishing them. So as long as I coat both sides well with the glue, this is, a, it's rough. So this kind of tacky glue almost kind of fills in the cracks a little bit so that when you glue it down, there's not wrinkles because you're filling in the cracks with the tacky glue. And I'm not going to varnish this. Okay, Gina. Oh, she just woke up. <laughs> okay, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Oh, and another tip as far as far as gluing um, things down with just like regular glue is to take a foam book. Let's see. Do I have one up here? Yeah. Take an old foam book if you happen to have one. An old foam book, and it's it's nice to use to. Um, and I put a lot of glue. But don't don't glue down like that. See how it's all bumpy? If you try to glue that down like that, you're going to get bumps on your page. Smooth it all out. But it's a thick coat. It's a thick enough coat, especially because it's going on um, a napkin. So let me go ahead and get that right in the crevice there. Um, so you have to you have to uh, put a lot of glue if it's going to go over a napkin. Now remember, we're going to also paint on this too. So, okay, let me get a fresh baby wipe. If you add paint, if you're going to add paint on top of any of this, you have to be aware that it's not coated with matte medium. Therefore, you got to, uh, your paint's not going to move like you saw me do my collage. All right. Uh, if you get paint on, on top of this without it being coated with a matte medium, you can't wipe it away. The reason that you can wipe away your paint with a baby wipe or, uh, I mean, you can, when it's wet, you can wipe it some, but you're probably going to have a residue there. It, it's not coated with the matte medium, so um, you're not going to be able to wipe it away like we did with the collage stuff earlier. All right, so I'm going to go find a clean page in the uh, phone book here. And again, I put a lot of glue because you're going over a bumpy napkin. Sometimes you don't get the edges. You'll have to kind of go and tuck a little extra glue under the edges because the napkin is bumpy. Okay, so but go all the way off the edge like that, and then come down here and glue them down. Okay. If you have any questions, just ask. I'm just going to try to get this down, and then we're going to paint paint him in, paint them in. Okay, now her. Let's find another page in the phone book here. Put a, quite a bit of glue. And then just go all the way off the edge. Again, I might have to get a little extra glue along those feather 
points. Okay. Give us some of the excess glue. Okay, so you like that moon's coming up a little bit? It's because the napkins are rough and you sometimes have to add extra glue. That one looks seems okay. Alrighty. Yep, a lot of glue. <laughs> but smooth it out so that it um so that your piece lies flat. If you don't smooth it out on the back, all those bumps from the glue are going to show through. All right. So, all righty. Let's see. Just want to make sure it's all. And again, that will be the first place that the paper will crack eventually. Open and close it, open and closing it, it's gonna tear right on in there. But you know, it's just our napkin journal, it's okay. <laughs> All right, let's see, there's a little bit of curling right there. All right, now I'm gonna take my paint and start painting the whole scene in. And again, this is where I have the fun. All right, done with this. <sighs> Of you know painting things in. Let me get those colors that I had a minute ago. These same colors, okay. Plus, where's my other tray? I think that black's probably dried up by now. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, we want up. Uh, we want wax paper, so we don't glue them together. Get a couple pieces of wax paper. This has you excited to go search for the pictures. I know, right? I know. It's fun. Okay. Well, I'm going to send you some of those things there, Jay Love. Okay, so I, I know I want dark up here around the moon. So I'm going to go ahead, and again, there's no matte medium on that, so it's not going to get go completely back to, you got to be aware. You know, you can put matte medium on it, there's matte medium on the napkin, but there's not matte medium on my images. You can grab it while it's wet, but, you know, it's not going to wipe away like with matte medium. But I want all the edges up here. Just got to be kind of conscious of what you're doing. I use a brush, your fingers, you know are you know bigger than what you can get into a space then go in there with a brush all right so I'm gonna get right around our head there all right so I know kind of where I'm going with this need a little bit more black paint do you varnish yeah no I if you varnish just the moon would it still yeah because it, if you, eventually it will the varnish is not going to protect it from tearing eventually i mean it will help it some it'll protect it some it depends on how many times you open and close your book right you know all right so i think i'm going to carry the black down about that far on either side and she's kind of right on the edge there okay and then what I'm going to do is now pick up the green and kind of make it almost look like part of a garden in there. So, see how the green, I don't even know if you can see the green. Now, while it's still wet like this, you can kind of work in a section at a time. While it's wet like this, because the napkin has matte medium on it, then that's when you can take your baby wipe and kind of start blending. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, that blends it in. Again, I got some on the moon there. The moon is a shiny piece, so I can kind of get some of it off. Don't let it dry. It's just a little trickier. That's all, guys. When there's no matte medium, it just it's a little trickier. Okay, so down here, just going to carry it all the way down. 
I put a little bit of orange down here just to give it a grounding. And then some more green. Make her look like she's in the in the uh, forest or something. Then you can just go right over, see? Just kind of blend her into the background. And again, I'm using my finger. If some of these areas are little, it's probably best if you get in there. Okay, I'm all the way on the edges now, so I'm going to move my wax paper. Lightly. I'm doing this very lightly. Lightly kind of blending. And see, I can still see through it there, so I'll probably put another coat right there. Okay. A little off that face while it's still wet. Okay, now I think I'll get in here with a little bit of yellow, and I'm just rubbing, kind of rubbing in the the yellow into the napkin, the white of the napkin. Kind of just get rid of some of the background. You're just trying to blend everything together. Okay, so I'm going to kind of get in between these feathers, and then I'm going to go on top of the green feathers with some uh, more paint. Okay, let's go back up here with some green. Bye, Terry Trouble. Thanks for hanging out and helping. Thanks so much. Love my mods. They're the best. They're the best. Alright, so can you see where we're kind of going there? I'll probably put a little bit of glow around the moon as well. Got to get all the paint in here and then get that dry and everything. So it's getting in here with some more paint with on the napkin. Move the baby wipe. Kind of blend, 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 blend. Maybe just a little bit blend. Just a little bit darker right around her head. Mm. Throw some stars up there in a minute. Maybe a little darker. I should get in there with the brush behind her body. I'm getting there with the brush. <clears throat> See, I'm kind of keeping it light right there in the middle. All right, a little bit darker, maybe a little bit more black up here. Still with me, Bird? <laughs> okay. And if you want it to have more textury stuff in there, again, you can take your um, um, palette knife and scrape in. Like, let's just go with some yellow. Like, let's just say I want to kind of make it even a little bit more um, dramatic in there. Look, just pick up a little bit of, you know, I can lay some down. I can lay some down like this and then wipe it back. So see how it just gives it more oomph. I know it's a lot, just just it's still wet, so I'm just gonna kind of go all around here. And it just makes it look more like more. <laughs> just has more texture and everything. And then while it's wet, let's do a little bit more up here. While it's wet, you can just kind of pick out some of it. Like, you know, kind of blend around some of the edges. You got too much paint. You can kind of feather it in. See how that's working? <laughs> See how it just gives it more 
like this more depth into the forest back there. Get a clean place here. Okay, something like this. Blend a little more right in here. Don't be afraid to go over your coloring. If it needs it, do it. Fear not the color book page. <laughs> okay, there's a little bit of my feather coming up right there. I'll glue that back down. All right. I need to do something right along his feet there. And just a little bit of orange. Just kind of blend them down there on the bottom. Too much distinction right there. Let's put a little bit more green. And then, now let's dry this and I'll show you a few details. Somebody put um Jean's uh, Ustream channel in. I'm not sure. I didn't see exactly what time she's going to start. But if somebody wants to put her channel name in there, the musical scrapper. She's working on some canvases for gifts. And she's doing um, like molding paste type thing. But she's making her own with... Um, different products and paper and all kinds of stuff. Alright, let me clean my hands just a little bit here. Maybe a bit of stickles. You want stickles? We could maybe put some stickles on the moon. Would that make you happy, beloved ghost? Put some stickles on the moon. Alright, well I'm not done yet. Hang on. Alright, now I want to take a... Let me get a... No, not that brush. Let's see. Need a little bit of a here we go. All right, so now I'm going to take a little bit of green here and maybe just add a tiny bit of black, just darken it up a little bit because I want to add some feather detail. Just darken up this green just a little bit and add a few things. So I'm going to kind of go under the feathers and I'm going to keep it keep going back into water so I can almost keep it watercolory like. So I'm going to keep adding a little bit of water, but I want to um, accent some of the feathers like this. See? Add a little more water to that. So they stand out from the background. Just a little more. All right. Kind of keep watering it down a little. Now remember, don't get it too sopping wet. You'll, you'll start peeling up your paper just so they stand out a little bit more. And you could go in there and add more like to make it look like feathers. You know you could do I'm not going to because I wanted to have this kind of funky free-flowing kind of look. But you know if you wanted to you can go in there and do oops there's my lid there. You can go in here and do you know, feather stuff like this. You know, you can make it more feathery. If you want it to look more more real. But I'm going to just kind of leave it like this. You tweeted, Jean. Your package should be there. My, oh. Oh, well, my mailman's been around. I will go look. And just as soon as I finish this, uh, Sherry, we'll go check the mail. All right, so now the other thing I want to do here to make it look like they're kind of sit back in. Let's take that same green here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it some uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of just some grasses or something here. Some little weeds or something. Not, not overdue. Just give it the indication that they're sitting in a, you know, like a little garden or a forest or something like that. You know. 
Again, you can spend a lot of time with this. You could add, um, I'm just going to show you a few little details here. <clears throat> You know, sometimes we do the tree branches. And you could do something like some grasses. You could pop a few little, you know, some little yellow flowers on them. Let me just go with the back of my brush here. Now I'll just use my finger. You know, just do a little bit of extra something, a little extra something, something like that. Kind of just give it more of a garden feel. And you can just, you know, add as much or as little as you want. But you can do that kind of thing. Um, okay, now. Real quick, now I'm going to take, get a little bit of, um, where's my white again? Here we go. It's probably dried up. Well, there's a little bit left in there. I want to do a little bit of stars up right behind the moon. Just up there, nowhere else. Just behind their head. Like that. Okay, let's see, what else did I want to add? We'll stickle up the moon, and by that we'll just take, I've got diamond stickles. These are almost all empty, I need to get some more. Diamond stickles are the clear, that what it, when you put it on, you'll see the color through. Let's see if there's anything left in here. There's a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of zigzag some all over it, and then I'll just use my finger to kind of smear it around on the moon just to make it have that glow. So just barely touching it, you know, just kind of smooth it around to give the whole thing a glitter. Then I will take a white pencil and I'll just give it a little bit of a glow. I'll put some white down first. Oops, some of that, my stars are still wet there. Okay, and then let me dry it. Now the stickles won't dry. The stickles will take an hour or two. You can hit it with the heat gun, but it's, it, it won't really, you just want to let it sit on its own. I'm just trying to dry the stars. So I can get in there with a the yellow pencil. Let's see. Because I really want a yellow glow. But by putting the white down first, now the yellow will be brighter. Okay, this is wet down here. I stuck my sleeve down in here. I forgot about the flowers down here. Forgot about the flowers. Okay, now I might take a little bit of white, just a little highlight on our feathers there. Okay. My stickles is wet. I gotta kind of be careful. And again, we're right in the crack. <laughs> it's always that's the worst place to try to work. Uh All right, guys, something like this. What do y'all think? They're just shooting stars. Well, we can always do a shooting star. That's easy enough to do.
I like my shooting stars every now and then. So that you could even, you know, make a couple extra big ones here or there, just to make them kind of stand out a little. Any place your splots didn't go where you want them to. Something like that. Crack a lack, and that's right. So I hope y'all kind of like seeing this. You can see the shine on the moon. And you can spend more time in here, you know, fussying up some flowers and, you know, getting getting in here with some more yellow to kind of blend all that in really nice. Leave some real bright areas like that. See how I almost left it almost white. That will give it a glow in there. So I'll just get a couple more of these daffodils. A little bit of oomph. Okay. Thanks, guys. I'll tweet a picture of it. Again, if you want to take a picture and, you know, kind of, there's no ensuring that nobody's going to, you know, copy, or not copy it, uh, take, a, take a picture of it and use it as is, then, you know, just take a few supplies and, you know, it just, it just doesn't hurt to have a few supplies on your page, you know, when you photograph it. Again, it doesn't ensure anything, but, yeah, it helps. I mean, because, you know, signatures, watermarks, they can all be erased. But, you know, it's a little more difficult to uh, get rid of all your supplies laying out on top of it. <laughs> what the moon. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head on out. I will uh, hopefully see you guys at Jean. Did I see? Did Jean say? Uh... Oh, oh, wait, wait. I got to go. Uh, I forgot. I got to go check the mail to see if Sherry's box is here. All right, hang on, guys. Don't go anywhere. One minute. And also, I did want to see what time Jean is streaming, if she has a time, or if she's just going to come on and when we're done. All right, let me go run and check the mail, guys. One moment, please. Okay, I got Sherry mail and another mail. Uh, it looks like it's from Zandra. So I got two boxes of Happy Mail here. So here's what we're going to do. As long as Jean's not waiting on me. Do y'all want to spend another 20 minutes or so on Happy Mail? She does stream in an hour. Okay, good. I catch my breath. So I'm going to stop this video. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I ran out to the mailbox and ran back in up the stairs. So I'm going to stop this video. Start another one, and we'll open Happy Mail. <laughs> okay, so thanks everybody for watching this. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for joining us. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks guys.